All right, so today we're going to identify the shape of two-dimensional cross-sections. So look at the cylinder. What kind of cross-section can you guys get? Yeah, we kind of went over this yesterday, right? We can have circle. What else? Rectangle. What else? Let's go ahead and use the link. Yes. Oval? Yes, I agree. Let's use the link to actually demonstrate it. So here, let's try it with, uh, yeah, this link, remember? So here, you can go to the cylinder and change the shape of a cylinder, and you can move these around. So first, what do you get if it's horizontal? You get a circle, so right circle on cylinder. What about this? Some of you said oval, ellipse. Do you guys see it? Ellipse? Can you get like a parabola shape or a semicircle? Yes. Yeah, it's on page nine. List them. What about, what if it both hits the base? It becomes a rectangle. Can it be a trapezoid? I thought so too, but as you can see, it's rounded. So it's not quite a trapezoid. Do you guys see it? So can see it clearly if we make it bigger. So when you turn it out, that will be a trapezoid, but it's actually rounded, so no trapezoid. Anything else? Hmm? I think that's it. All right. What's the next shape? A cone. All right, so cone, what do you think? If it's horizontal to the base, you'll get a circle, the cross-section of circle. What if you make an angle? Just like a cylinder, you get an ellipse. What about parabola? Yes. But not hyperbola because you don't have the top, right? What if it hits right at the center? Can we have a triangle? Yes. What else? Is that it? I think so. Right. What's the next one? Pyramid. And what kind of pyramid is yours? Look, you have to look at the base. Hex. How many sizes is it? Five. So then write the name. It is pentagonal pyramid. If it's square, the base is square, then we call it square pyramid. This one has five sides. So it's pentagonal pyramid. So obviously, if you cut it right in the middle, it will be a pentagon. What if you make it angle? Can it be more sided than pentagon? How many sides is that? Six. So we get hexagon. Can we have less than five? What, do we, what can we get if it cuts right at the top, the corner? Triangle, is that it? Yes, right? Oh, this is, I'm changing the, the base. Yes. What's the next one? It's a pyramid, how many sides? So you can use the very last one to change the base, okay? If you want to try it on, at home. So what is it? So, Rectangular pyramid. So here's four sided again. So what? What is it? Can it be a quadrilateral? Can it be s square? If the base was square, if you cut it horizontal, yes, square. You're writing this down on page nine. What about trapezoid? Yes. What about a triangle? Yes. Anything else? Can we have more sides than four? How many sides is that? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Actually, look at this. You have this cut in, right? Cut the corner. So here's one, two, three, four, five. You can actually get a pendant. What about six? Can we have six? I don't think so. 
Good. So here, 